Welcome back from my kitchen to your kitchen. This will always be your kitchen. Just come along, enjoy, sit down, take a bite, take, have an appetizer, have something for it to eat. Today, I'm making some, not garlic bread, but I am baking bread and with mozzarella cheese, seasoning it with onions, garlic, oregano, and broccoli. So this is how it's going to start. Cut this in half. Cut this, slice it up. Evenly, make it like a hoagie sandwich. Not like a hoagie sandwich, but and excuse the voices and my son is playing video games with his friend talking. So I'll probably try to talk as loud as I can. Happy Thanksgiving week for those of you guys that do celebrate Thanksgiving. It's the season, season to gather and to spend time with family and have fun and eat your heart out. So Thanksgiving, I'm going to be, I'm going to go live on TikTok. Those of you who would like to join are more than welcome to. Um, it is TikTok Live. Um, Bella Stanley 45. And I already split this open. I'm going to try to cut this in half. Wow. Austin. I so there you go. It is a little stuck, little stiff, but I tried. I'm going to cut this in fours and put it on a cookie sheet. And then I'm going to cut some broccoli, put some cheese on it. Season it, and then there you go. I'll show you when I am get done. So if you have bread that's a little hard and you don't want to use it right away when you go to the bakery and get it or to the store, your local store, um, there is a trick. You grab a paper towel. You wet it. Don't soak it. You just wet it. Make sure it's damp, like... Not real damp, but just somewhat damp. And then to soften the bread, you wrap it up. Put it in the microwave for 10 seconds. You don't want to put it in too long because you put it in too long, the paper does stick to the bread. Okay? So that in mind, you want to wrap it up nicely. See? There you guys have it. You want to wrap it up nicely. And preheat the oven, by the way, to 350. Okay? You want to put some butter on it? You can put some butter in it. I am going to spray it with butter. My oven's already preheated to 350. And I'm going to spray this with butter. I'm not going to put butter, regular butter. I don't have oil. So I'm going to improvise. I love improvising. You know, improvising, it does taste better. I'm going to put some onions, some onion powder. 
not too much. A little bit of garlic, just a tiny bit. And there you guys go, a perfect appetizer actually. Put a little bit of oregano. I don't know why, I like to smell my seasonings when I cook. Not sure why. All right. Then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese. But yeah, 10 seconds in the microwave with the bread. 10 seconds in the microwave with the bread wrapped up in a damp, not very damp, but wet enough, damp enough where it's not going to be so soggy. Okay. All right. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Here you go. Okay. Here you go. All right, Austin. Enough. Okay. Then I'm going to take this right here, clean this off a little bit. I like to clean while I cook. She, uh, make it home? Oh. <sighs> oh. Got some broccoli? And I think I'm going to go ahead and... All right! I don't know how much broccoli I'm going to use, but I'm going to use just enough. You can use it with broccoli heads or the stems, and I'm going to just chop it up really nicely. I am going to cut the end off of the broccoli. I'm throwing it away. And I think like one little head of broccoli will do. And I'm gonna even evenly proportion it. All right, so now I'm going to gather that. I'm going to put this over here. It's not cut well enough. Looks like this a little bit. Now I'm going to show you what I have done. You see that? Beautiful. 
okay? Now I would cook this about, and that's just one broccoli, one broccoli head. All right, I'm gonna put some more peas. I'm put it over here. Bones. They're literally built in Narnia immediately, bro. There you go. Put some more cheese into that. more cheese and then there you have it I'm gonna put it in the oven for 10 15 minutes till the cheese is melted I'm gonna put a little bit more oregano you don't want to put too much garlic and you don't want to put too much onion it's too strong of a flavor it empowers the taste but look at that Nice and healthy, semi-healthy. Cheese, broccoli, on a baguette. I don't know what it's called, but you can throw it together and make a appetizer about with it. And if you guys decide that you want to cut it up in pieces, you're more than welcome to, or have it as whole. I'm going to do it with the other one. Cut this in half like I did. And I'll show you guys one more time how I'm doing it. So we got this half. I'll put that to the side. I always like to have room. I always like to create space when I'm doing things. There you have it. Okay. So I'll put this right there. Put some onion. There's no order how to do it. If you want to put broccoli in there for on the top of the bread first, and then just mount cheese all over it, you're more than welcome to. I think I put too much. 
Don't ask me. Put some cheese on here. You don't have to have a lot of cheese, just depending on how much you like cheese. Yeah. I'm gonna set this back over here. Cut one more head. Okay, just gonna throw that away. Austin, sorry, I'm kind of like on a full concentration when it comes to, um, when it comes to, um, cutting, I can cut and talk at the same time, but food is art. All right, so I got some broccoli. I'm gonna go ahead and call Megan. No, I'm not gonna call Megan. So I'm done with the broccoli. I'm gonna put this away and call it a day. All right, so, sorry you guys. I'm gonna take some cheese. Sprinkle it on here.
And there you guys have it. Once again, look right there. Yum! And then I'm going to put some seasonings on here. Some more oregano. And there you have it, you guys. Voila. And there's my recipe. I don't know what it's called, but I put all the food groups together. The bread, cheese, and broccoli. Veggie, dairy, carbs. Anyways, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Hold on for a second. There's the corner box. There's the corner box. So this is not almost done yet, but I am going to show you right here on the top. It's almost done, not just quite yet. I'm wanting to wait till the cheese is completely melted. From my kitchen to your kitchen, have a great day.